Hi folks, my name is Joe Patterson. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. I want to visit with you about works, works, works. I got to tell you, it's not a pleasant conversation for me. I get so tired of hearing people holler works, 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 works. And, and, and I'm going to just come out and say it. If you believe that you can be saved and you're not going to do the works of the of the spirit of the kingdom of God the works that are required of God to be saved if you believe that you're not going to do any works at all and still be saved you have a gospel that you have been taught that is false it is a false gospel because it says this that you cannot do anything at all you cannot earn your salvation and listen I already know, all of us should know, no one could earn salvation because God loved us while we were yet in sin. We were sinners and God had mercy on us and sent his son to save sinners. Okay, I know that. I agree with that. I'm not against that. But if you don't if you don't believe that your faith is proven by the works, then you do not understand the gospel of God. And so the works, works, works thing is always coming from Paul. And Paul writes things that are hard to understand, as the Holy Scripture says, by the Holy Spirit, by the, by the Apostle Peter. Some things that he writes are hard to understand. And so you think you're understanding works, but I'm telling you, the United States of America, most of you aren't even, you're not even quoting that proper. Because we don't, we've never done works. We've never known works, the works he's talking about. We've never been circumcised for faith. We've never been or, or for belief. We've never uh, had the Mosaic law and, and sacrificed bulls and goats and had priests and high priests and, and the holy of holies and all that. We didn't never have none of that. So whenever you talk works in this country, what people think that you're talking about is that we none of our good deeds, nothing that we do can help us. And the Lord says quite otherwise. Once you've come in to Christ, once you've come in to believing God and you have submitted to Him and surrendered all to Him, now you have got the work of the kingdom to do. And buddy, you better believe it's going to take every effort because you're going to be tempted by Satan constantly. You're going to be tried and tested and you're going to be weighed and you're going to be measured. And you've got to learn in Christ that you've got a thing called faithfulness to the end. That you have to endure to the end. Endure what? You've got to endure the temptations that's going to come. You've got to trust God and believe that no temptation that has ever uh, besieged you is greater than what God has said you could bear. He always provides a way out. You've got to believe that. You may not take the way out, but that didn't mean God didn't provide it. So the provision is there to see if you will take it. If you don't take it, you fall in the... I've done it many times. You fall into the temptation and do the sin. And in the end, sin... The wages of sin is death. So you have to learn to overcome. You're going to learn to put on the armor of God and operate in the armor of God and have an understanding of it. You've got to know that your mind has got to become transformed and made new and renewed by the spirit of your mind. You're going to become a new creation. You're going to grow now in the spirit like you used to grow in the flesh. You're going to lay down the flesh and take up the spirit and you're going to sow to the spirit, therefore uh, sowing to eternal life. So if you think there's nothing to do to be saved, that you, well, Jesus did it all, and all i got to do is believe that, and I'm saved no matter what, and because I'm saved now, now I'm going to do all this stuff. Okay, all right, but you better do it, because if you don't do it, the same person that told you you didn't have to do anything to be saved now is going to say you're not a Christian. You're not a Christian. If you're a Christian, you do these things. So they're, they're doing the same thing that I'm talking about, and except they proclaim that no works, but yet God is loaded with works for us to do. The works that God prescribed for us before the dawn of time. There were works to do. Not, not the law, not the Mosaic law. We're not under the old covenant. 
So you're, when you quote that out of the Bible, you're quoting Paul, who was trying to tell people we're no longer under the old covenant. Now the Messiah has come with a new covenant, a new priesthood. Jesus the Christ is the high priest forever. So we are now under a new covenant, not the old covenant, which by the law, we had to do all these works. Now he's saying not by works, lest anyone should boast. Those works, not the works of the kingdom, not the dying to self and taking up your cross daily, not the learning to love your enemies and bless those that curse, not that. We have to do that. That's not, a, that's not a, a, an option. We have to do it. We have to become a new creation. We've got to learn to be a royal priesthood, uh, strangers and aliens on this earth. We have to learn what it means to hear the sayings of Christ and put them into practice. How to make God our all in all. How do we trust God? How do we seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness? And how do we trust him to provide everything we need? He feeds the sparrows, right? He gives them all they need. He dresses the flowers of the field. How do we get to where we can take him at his word? How do we trust him with our health? How do we trust him with our finances? How do we do all that? The works of the kingdom of God must be in you or you are not going to remain in him. This is what the Lord Jesus taught, folks. Hear the word of the Lord. It's in, go to the book of John, read the story. I don't know what chapter. Sadly, you guys can look it up on Google. Read that he is the vine. We are the branch, right? Those that are in Christ are the branches. Christ Jesus is the vine. Apart from Christ, we can do no good thing. Though the branches must produce fruit, because if they don't, Jesus said, the Father will prune them off, and those branches that produce no fruit are only good for the fire. Each man's work will be tested by the fire to see if it was true. Was it pure? Okay, what makes it pure? The sayings of Jesus, doing what Jesus did, walking as he did, letting your mind be transformed to hear from the Lord, from the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of truth, cometh from the throne of God and tells us what pleases him in everything we do. Paul says anything that's not done by faith is sin. Anything that's not done by faith. Your entire life, the goal before you die is to learn to live by faith because the just will live by faith and without faith it is impossible to please God. Without holiness you will never see God. So you've got to learn what holiness is by the Holy Ghost and learn to be taught by the Spirit. These are things that most preachers will not teach you to be taught by the Holy Ghost because they haven't been taught by the Holy Ghost. They've been taught by seminary. They've been taught by college. They've been taught by, by hermeneutic studies and, 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 and degree chasing. All the things the world does. They haven't been taught by the Holy Ghost. That's why when they run on to people that have been, it, it, it perplexes them. They usually want them gone. How can I get this guy? Get rid of him. I don't want him to keep pounding me. You know, he thinks he knows a bunch of stuff. He's arrogant. He thinks I need him. You know? <laughs> anyway, I hope you can hear it in the name of the Lord and, and come to understand what the Lord God would have us to know about his beautiful way. My name is Joe. I thank you for tuning in.